people want to know more about you. They want to connect with you. So the big question is, what are top agents doing to absolutely crush it in real estate, grow their teams and add more transactions year over year while so many struggle? To get the answers, we interview top real estate agents to learn their secrets to success. Listen, we believe every agent should make a minimum of $100,000 per year and we're on a mission to make this happen. We've already helped over 100 agents achieve this with our coaching. So if you want to fast track your business growth, get to your first $100,000 in GCI or add another $100,000 in GCI using social strategies, then head over to go.eliteagentsecrets.com or you can just click the link in the description below. Also, just make sure to follow us, hit that subscribe button and if you get any value from this at all, please tell a friend and leave us a review. My name is Andrew Dunn. And my name is Peter Michael. Welcome to Lead Agent Secrets. Diving into your second topic, which is, again, all of yours have this social media theme, but they're, they're all a little bit different. So your second one is to do with business spotlights. So break down what you mean by business spotlights. Um, so before, when we came out with it, I'd never heard of it. Now I would say a lot more people are doing it, um, or they should do it. Um, they're videos of local businesses. Easy. Just go video them. They're not these mega produced videos by any means that take out the chunk of our day. It's 30 minutes going to the new shop downtown and you get to know the new business owner. They get to know you. You're highlighting their business. Then you turn around and you put it on social media. You put it on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. You're just repurposing content for the different spots where they are to the different viewers and now your relationship, you're tagging them. They're going to reshare it. They're following. So that really from the start five years ago really picked up. So we're not just the people that sell and help people sell the homes and buy the homes. They're the people that are like, where should I go to eat tonight? <laughs> where should I go shopping for my niece for her birthday? What should I do for the guest coming here for the first time that I need to host this weekend? Like, we're the, we're the concierge <laughs> um, that people come to. And it's, and it's fun. That's, that's, we love where we live. And to help promote the community is just going to come twofold back around. Um, but we found repurposing that on all the different social media platforms is really helpful. You're not just posting on Facebook, but you can just quick, easily post on the other ones. Um, and we have a virtual assistant that does that for us. And then for everybody who's listening, do you, are you posting them to like your own page or are you posting them to your, you know, brokerage page? Help us understand like how you're repurposing this so it yeah. can be as effective because when you say repurposing, you know, there's got to be a, some kind of systemized ways, way of distribution. Mm -hmm. So basically you take the content, send the content to the virtual assistant. He edits it. And then makes it a video, put it on YouTube, goes on from YouTube, put it on the Facebook business page, schedule it out there, tag the business. Um, then we put it on the Instagram um, and how you're repurposing it, you know, on all those places is you're tagging them in all those places. And then if you want, so from a personal, I don't like to bombard everything on my personal. I like people to know. I also do this for fun, not real estate related. I am this, I'm that. Um, but if I'm at the store shooting, I'll whip my phone out and be like, quick, you know, check where I'm at. Stay tuned for a video at Lake Life Realty and at Rise and, you know, Shine LLC's business. Um, so that cross promotion in that little way for the Instagram story is good. Um, once it goes out on the Facebook, Every now and then I will share that to a story. Um, rarely do I do a post about it, but I could, um, as long as I'm not just bombarding people with real estate all the time. That's, that's interesting. That's a, that's a little bit of a different take than I think we're used to as well, because we're always told it's like, don't separate things out. You're in real estate. Let people know you're in real estate. And then all of a sudden your page becomes like this 
real estate billboard and you forgot how to really be a human and mm -hmm. talk about shit that you enjoy, aka going out with the kids. So like I kind of combine both just because I can't manage one account, yet I'm <laughs> thinking about managing two. <laughs> <laughs> but I just pulled up your Instagram and I see like you have a ton of you know charity work. I see you if you're a hubby with friends doing fun stuff with pets. So I like yeah. how you have that dynamic, but at the same time in your bio I still can't find out exactly what, what it is mm -hmm. that you do. And you're very, very active. Yeah. I mean, I forget where I read it once. It's kind of morbid, but someone said, you know, on your tombstone, if someone had to write what you were by looking at your social media platforms, do you just want it to say real estate agent? Like what else, you know, it, you shouldn't. So why, you know, this is a walk, not a walking tombstone, but like, People want to know more about you. They want to connect with you. And how are they going to connect if they're not buying or selling real estate? Maybe their family and friends are. So you got to connect with them in another way so that their friends and family who are buying real estate have a connection. So like my dog, like there's lots of yeah. dog things on there if you're looking at it. I was going to say in every single somewhere. podcast, people get to see Santo, my old security guard in retirement right now. <laughs> and that's something that people know me they know like when they look at my page or they look at andrew's page they can very quickly tell maybe not on his instagram page but what he's into but on mine you can see me with my kids boats cars houses and my dog <laughs> pretty much sums it all up <laughs> yeah i mean i feel like you should have five you know name five things and people kind of i think also get lost in their work and then they're like do i have a hobby but outside of work What's a hobby? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I felt like that for a long time. And then I figured out my five hobbies. It was race car, one, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> and I got it covered in like one fell swoop. But Peter, you said if they're listening to the podcast, they'll be able to see Santo. They won't. But if they go on YouTube, they absolutely it's will. True. <laughs> <laughs> Shameless plug. I love the business spotlights. I think it's such an easy thing to do. What it is, is education based, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a big way that people are growing their YouTube channels the same way we are. It's like, tell people about the area. Like when people are looking for your area, what do you think they're looking for? Not only the houses, the actual fucking place, the businesses, what's going on, what's available, schools, shops, outlets, activities, educate the people youtube is huge for this like i like tiktok i like all that stuff for repurposing but if i'm throwing like really solid educational content out there like i'm youtube all day because yeah. people will search up you know you know where's good to eat in x search that on google guess what youtube also ranks on google for those who didn't know your youtube video could come up top five best mexican restaurants in x mm -hmm. done they were looking for mexican restaurants like this is how you win both long and short term do the content now it's evergreen on youtube get it out there short term also you got the stuff that goes on all these other platforms and yeah. it's so fucking powerful i mean obviously we love social media it's how we've grown our businesses always it's it's just it's insane it's crazy to me like i'm sure it is to you that some people are listening to this and still aren't on it it's like you need to be on it like like this is the fastest path to a lot of money and just basically getting whatever you want whether it's then freedom time building teams and doing whatever else you want but the first thing you got to do is you got to make a lot of money and then you can pay for teams and you can build op op operations and all that stuff oh and by the way you might not have known this we've already helped over a hundred agents cross over a hundred thousand dollars and up in gci per year with our predictable and scalable systems so if you're interested in learning more about our courses and coaching to help you scale your business to six figures and beyond head over to go.eliteagentsecrets.com